you. Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Tuesday. So I'm going to do this Facebook Live interview with my author, Tommy Gray, this dude right here. That's right. That's him. That's live, him. Live and in the color. Live and in color. <laughs> so we just want to talk a little bit about his book, uh, Deep Waters, Life's 31 Day Devotional. That's my nephew. Hey, Jerome. That's my sister. Hey, Robert. Uh, so guys, just come on in. Come on in. This will not be long. We are in the pre-order phase of his project, and we you have a goal of how many books you want to. Hey, Victoria. How I want many books you all to help me win and sell 1,000 copies. 1,000 copies. Go. He has six weeks. Hey, Carla, to make that happen. Hey, Cheryl. So we need to help this brother. First of all, the fact that, uh, Brother Tommy, that a man, mm -hmm. a brother, That's African American right. man, is <laughs> writing a devotional. To me, that's just amazing, mm. you know, and it's not to say that, you know, black men don't read. Right. I'm going to come in the picture with you. Are you okay with that? I'm fine. I, okay. I'm going to come over here with you. Tell me if, if you. we're both in here together. Are we in here together? Shift it this way. Let me come over there. Yep. Okay. Boom. Got it. Okay. So a brother, right. an African-American man uh -huh. writing a devotional. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Well, it started with a period of time. Mm -hmm. And it started as started out as my walk with God, okay. and you know you realize that whatever you go through every day, like the day may be different, yeah. but God's the same. Ha! Yes, He is. <laughs> we are in the church. Let's be clear. We in the church right now. So go ahead on. And what we have to remember is that even though the day may be different, the problems may be different, the challenges may be different, God already has a solution for whatever it is you're going through. And so for you. You're a retired military, 22 yes. years, a yes. Marine. That's right. A Marine. <laughs> yes. That'd make my brother happy. He's a Marine, too. He's good. Um, and so a Marine, 22 uh -huh. years. Right. So what are some of the, I guess the word would be war countries you had to go into? Um, I'm sure Afghanistan. Um, Afghanistan, Iraq, you know, Jordan. Wow. You know, went over to Israel, um, uh, Bahrain, mm -hmm. Kuwait. Wow. Things like that. And when you go into these foreign countries, you know, you have to always remember, no matter where you're going, God is already there. God, he's already there. Yes. When you get there, he's there. Wait. Wait. <laughs> he is Jehovah Shammah. He yes. is always there. You got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, Jehovah Nisi, your banner. That's he's right. only for you. That's good stuff. That's right. So you, you write this devotional, uh -huh. and it's 31 days. Yes. Life's 31 day devotional. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you recall, I know we've gone, we're in pre-order, we've mm -hmm. gone through edit. Uh, Tommy Gray is an ATK publishing author. So this is, he is the only author on this book, self-published. So uh, we've gone through all of our phases. Right. So do you remember like a particular devotional day, like one of the topics that you might want to touch on right now? Well, you know, I would just tell um, anybody who's listening that, you know, God has your back. You know, um, oftentimes I would go into the gym to work. I think that's work. one of the days. Yeah. yeah. Go into the gym to work out. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the workouts that I would do is on the bench press. Yeah, spot. Yeah. Just talking about and and mm -hmm. getting on the bench press after you do so many reps, your arms get tired. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you have a personal trainer. Or you may grab somebody and you may say, give me a spot. Yes, the yes, spot yes. means if the weight gets too heavy, Come on now. that person will stand over you and pull the weight up so Come it won't on. fall on your chest. Jesus. Sometimes we find ourselves on the bench press of life. Yes, we do. And it seems like at times the trial can get too heavy. Mm -hmm. But I want everybody to know we have a personal Look trainer. at him and tell him. <laughs> no matter how heavy a trial may get, you have a personal trainer. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He's your personal and spotter. He knows how to write. <laughs> ah, he's your personal he knows spotter. How to reach down. Good God if Almighty, you I love spot Jesus. When things get too heavy. That's all right. That's, right. That's all right. That's good stuff. Right. So, ex-military, you're an actor, uh -huh. and you are actually a That's part right. of a the the uh, online uh -huh. television show. That's right. Is that how we say how I would say it? We can say it like that for now. Well, how do we say it? Digital drama series. Digital drama series. Uh -huh. This is the director behind. Uh -huh. right? Mr. A. Dean, the Mr. man a. himself. <laughs> and can we say what the name of this show will be? Well, it's called Rise the Series. Rise the Series. And just to give you a little bit of insight without spilling too much of the beans. Okay. Uh, it is a Christian art drama that focuses on life. 
And when we say life, we're talking about real people, real issues, mm -hmm. real situations that go on in the church. Things may look okay on the outside, but once we peel back the onion, mm -hmm. we see that God is at work behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. And your role in the in the series? My role, I play a gentleman by the name of Reverend Derek Ward. The right rep. That's right. Get right Y'all see, you got a little <laughs> chain going across. <laughs> Great to God. Get it out right amen, there. Amen. <laughs> so that's awesome. So you are multi talented, multi gifted actor, writer, mm -hmm. lover of Jesus. Absolutely. Uh, right. Serving in our armed forces. Uh -huh. Father. Yes. How many? I have three daughters Shayana, Jasmine, and Janiah. Awesome. And they are the loves of my life. Excellent, excellent. And so I know you have a life's goal. Your desire yes. is to be, is to do and be what? To, so for God. You no, know, my ultimate goal for God, for the kingdom, is to be a New York Times best-selling author. And the rationale for that is not to make it to the top so you can sell all these books. Mm -hmm. My main rationale is I want people to know, and the message that I want to give to the world is that no matter what you are going through in this life, with Jesus, eventually, everything is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Maybe not overnight, but over time, mm -hmm. with him, everything is going to be okay. Because all things really do work together for good. They do. They really do. Absolutely. When you are the called according to his purpose. Right. We always have to put that B stance on there. <laughs> because people are like, oh, all things work together for good. Okay. No, 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 no. For those who are called yeah, according it. to his purpose. Amen. You out there being racketty. Tell them what I said. Amen. Amen. Y'all know, y'all know Minister Tate, uh, right. Dr. Tuesday. Uh -huh. So I wanted to ask you, yes. um, in this 31 day devotional, yes. if the title is Deep Waters. Yes. How did you come up with Deep Waters? Well, believe it or not, my whole life has been Deep Waters. Mm -hmm. But my whole life has been Deep Waters because of my own doing. Okay. And the, the testimony to that is that. Mm -hmm. The testimony to that is, you know, no matter what you find yourself in, even if it's your fault, uh -uh, uh -huh. God will pull you out. Because, see, as believers, we don't have a hard time accepting all things work together for the good, for those who are called according to his purpose. If something happens to me, Love him, yeah. and, and it's not my fault. Uh, uh -huh, no, no. Uh -huh. and if Thank something you, happens you. to me, and it's not my fault. But if something happens to me, and it is my fault, uh -huh. If I am the offender, if I'm the perpetrator, my mom. does God still pull me out of deep waters, even though I got myself in it? And the message I want to give is, there's no ocean too wide, uh -huh. no lake too deep, yeah. no waterfall too aggressive. But God cannot reach down and pull you out, even if it is your fault, if you want to act right. If you want to act right, if you want to surrender, if you That's just right. want to say, Lord, forgive me, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord, help me, because I do stupid stuff. All the time. I know I ain't the only one. Y'all play too much. They do stupid stuff. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Degrees, anointed, speaking tongues, uh, lay folk out. Yeah, no matter. But we still do things that right. are not pleasing to mm -hmm. God. But yet his hand is strong enough, that right hand of God, as the Bible talks That's about. Right. So. Your book signing is on April the 4th. And right now we are in pre-order, guys. And Tommy has a goal to sell 1,000 copies. And so pre-order ends the first week or so of March. So he has a solid four weeks for you guys to help him achieve this goal. Tag someone, share with someone. We all need a devotional. Everybody's fasting at the first of the year, amen. Yeah, right. And to have this devotional that first uh, gives you a scripture to read and to mm -hmm. study, gives you a, a kind of a breakdown or his synopsis of that scripture, right. and then a life application. And then you have a page where you can journal your journey. You can right. talk about what did you learn from that topic that he's discussing that day. So we all need a devotional, men. And this is what I like to tell men, okay. Brother Tommy. All right. I know women, we journal. We journal. But if you understand, the first journaler was a man, mm -hmm. Moses. God told him to journal the journey. 
that was his responsibility for the first five books of yep. the Bible, the, right. the Pentateuch, the law. And so just being able to have a space where you can just yes. sit with God and meditate. Right. You know, even if nothing else, as men, women of God, your teen child, giving this to them, just using that time, the first day uh, hours or minutes, I should say, of the morning, yeah. and maybe in the evening where you kind of wind down to just meditate and spend some time with God. This journal will bless you. The pictures are beautiful. <laughs> All these water and mountain scenes, it is gorgeous. You are going to love this devotional. So, you have a book release coming up yes. on April the 4th. That's right. Yes, at uh, Half Price Bookstores mm -hmm. at 86th and Ditch. That's correct. And so, at that book signing, what, what you want everyone to come out. Yes. Yes, so when you pre-order, you will collect your book there. Yes. Now, I've been seeing his pre-orders. People are ordering from Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> and all of these places where I guess you met people yes. all over the world. Yes, yes. You met people all over the world, yes. the Carolinas and Texas, and all of these people are pre-ordering to support their friends. Some of you may have your book, and uh, when they come in, uh, we will meet you on April 4th, and then those right. of you who are out of Indianapolis and out of the state, uh, he will get those books Absolutely. to you after the release. That's okay. Right. So what would you like to leave with our viewers? Well, I want to share this with you all. Yeah, regardless of what you're trying to accomplish in life, whatever goal you're trying to accomplish, I want you to be reminded that, yes, God will help you, but also be reminded that you have an obligation as well. And that obligation is faith without works is dead. Faith without sacrifice is dead. And faith without discipline is dead. Uh, remember those th those three things, and you will go as far as your heart will take you. Okay, I'm a preacher, and I'm sorry, guys. I did say one last thing. Yep. My bad. That means five more things. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just two. One, I do want I do want people to know. Coming up as a young man, you struggled with literacy. That's right. That's correct. And now this young man not only made his life a career in the Marines and retired last year. Yes. He's gone on to get undergrad degree. Yes. Master's degree. Yes. Write a book. Yes. Please don't tell us what God can't do. That's right. He's Look able. at what the Lord can do. He's able. Reading scripts. <laughs> an actor. That's right. And so no matter where you come from, where you start, you're yes. in because God has a plan for us. That's God right. has a plan for us. And his will is that we prosper above all, mm -hmm. that we prosper, be in good health, even as our soul prospers. That's the word of the Lord. He said he has a plan and he knows what the plan is for you. Plans to do you no harm, right. to give you a hope and a future. Mm -hmm. And this journey of being an author, a best selling author, yes. advancing the kingdom, being a uh, actor, mm -hmm. and we're going to say Emmy winning, why not? That's Oscar right. winning, we right. claim it, we right. claim it. Right. all of these things just so that your testimony, sometimes I think what we forget mm -hmm. is if God can't use us to advance his kingdom, mm -hmm. if our purpose has nothing to do with him, yes. there'll be a bunch of people that make money. And, and that, you know, live in fancy houses and drive cars, and they have, they're have they not doing anything to advance God, his that's kingdom, right. his message. But when that's our heart's desire, that's we right. may feel like it's taking a long time, 22 years, right? That's right. And we're, But we're here, right? <laughs> Started the book years ago, but yes. we're here now. That's right. And so we may feel like it's taking too long, but God's timing is perfect. Absolutely. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. He will strengthen you on your journey. Yes, there is a set time mm -hmm. for you to come on through and be a witness and a testimony to God. For all of you who have logged on, and I didn't get to say your name out loud, uh, I thank you so much for watching. Yes. We will uh, repost this. And uh, there was something else I wanted to say about you. Okay. Help me, Holy Spirit. I forgot. Mm -hmm. But he's awesome. This young man is awesome. I, 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 he, yeah, he followed me a long time uh -huh. on Facebook and social media before we were able to connect to get his project going. Yes. But he has been a blessing to ATK Publishing, <laughs> and we are doing uh, two other projects this year. One is called Image Bears, and it is a story, uh, my, a message to my younger self. And I'm looking for women who have a teenage story. Uh, of uh, their journey of being a teenager where they had to overcome something. You may have been an orphan or you may have been a teen mom or unfortunately someone may have touched you inappropriately. You may have battled with being overweight or being the two chocolate girl in class or the two light skinned girl in class. 
and being bullied. How did you overcome that? Because ultimately, we are all called to be to bear the image of Christ as believers. And so bearing that image and becoming the woman that you are today, uh, how did you go through that journey to, even, you still may be on the journey right. of becoming, right? And so with that, this book will help other teen girls. The second book is called Sister Friends. Uh, we are more alike than we are different. And so this book will be women who have friends who don't look like them. You may be African American, your good friend girl may be Caucasian, you may be Latino. You may be Christian and your friend may be Muslim. Right. You may have one lifestyle and they have another, whether whatever, economic, socially, but we're more alike than we are different. So I want you to tell your story in this book of how you became friends, because ultimately this book will be used as a tool of reconciliation, uh, particularly in this day and time where we're finding so much division amongst cultures and religions and things of that nature. So. Hit me up, inbox me if you want to be a part of either of those projects. But pre-order your book. Amen. Deep Waters, Life's 31-Day <laughs> Devotional by Tommy Gray III. That's right. And you can get that at drtuesday.net backslash shop. Order yours today and help him to become a great man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and our prayers go out to my God. Yes. Whew, Kobe Bryant's family, my Jesus, and... Uh, all his uh, friends, so tragic. So keep his uh, wife and children and family in prayer.